Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian. You guys can call me Jill. Hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season. We are now approaching New Year's. We are be approaching the year 2022. I'm not sure about you guys, but I am definitely over 2021. So on today's episode, I have formed a get ready with me where we're just going to be basically going over some of the things that I have come up with in which I would say this would be my five... <laughs> new year's resolutions um and i wouldn't necessarily say a resolution because you know it's very cliche to say oh my new year's resolution and then you go into the new year and then everything that you promised yourself or you said that you would be doing it goes out the window so these are just five things that i have come up with in which i want to just help myself grow to become a better me not only for myself but for my three wonderful children okay so stick around for the remainder of the video so you guys can see my final outlook, how I came up with my makeup look, um, and we'll just go over some of the topics. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. On today, like I said, I will be doing a get ready with me, okay? I have all of my makeup here. I had done my hair off camera, and it's just basically a sleek ponytail, braided ponytail. If you guys are interested for this look, I would say if you can get this video up to 50 likes, then I will go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys okay so that's an idea um i also went ahead and put on my face moisturizer on my face off camera as well um as i said in a few of my previous videos that this is one of the face moisturizers that i use religiously okay and this is the pods brand you can get this one from your cvs walmart target just about anywhere okay um, and the first thing that I always start off with is my brows. Now, my brows are very <laughs> unique to say the least, okay? They're in between the thin and medium to thick side, I would say. Um, normally for my brows, I do always use a pencil. I don't use like any of the pomades. Um, and I do also, all the time, use the Benefit Brow Pencil. I am currently out of this. I have no more of this remaining, so I do have to go ahead and restock on this. So today for my brows, I'll be using the LA Colored Brown Pencil. I do have a mirror here that I'm going to be looking into. So I always start off with my brow. And I used to go to get my brows done all the time, like at the nail salon. But I had noticed over a period of time, my eyebrows were just getting thinner and thinner. I'm not sure if it was because of the wax or if it was because I was just going too frequently. I was going like every two weeks. So I said, oh no. So now I just do it at home myself and I just use like the little razors to do my brows. Those are my brows. And then I do also go back in with a spoolie to go ahead and kind of fade that into place. You don't want the sharp look okay and i hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season i know it can definitely be hard for those who may not be in the greatest financial position um you know to provide gifts or you know they may have lost a loved one or you know being that we are still in the pandemic you know i see on the news that they have slowed down some of your actual um, like flights, transportation, and things like that. So a lot of people aren't able to travel at this time necessarily. 
Okay, so I have my brows and after I do my brows, I used to do a little bit of concealer under my brows, but I haven't done that in so long. Now, honestly, I just jump right into my foundation after my brows. And the foundation that I normally use is the Milani. And I picked this up from Walmart and the color as you may have seen is the chestnut. So I'm gonna use this and it does have a pump so I'll go ahead and just apply it straight onto my face. So let's go ahead and get into number one on my list as far as my New Year's resolution on making myself a better me. And number one is gonna be taking myself serious. You know, it truly is a saying that if you don't take yourself serious, nobody else will take you serious, right? And I think a lot of the times is that we tend to, you know, put ourselves in boxes or, you know, always kind of be in a spot to where we're, we're very fearful of a lot of things. So, because we're fearful, we tend to talk ourselves out of it as if like it's not going to work for me or, you know, nobody's going to understand or nobody's going to receive me well, blah, 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 whatever it is that, you know, you're, you're trying to do here in this life. If you do not learn to take the risk and take yourself serious then nobody else will right and you need to also give yourself credit and a chance to grow so what i said i was going to start doing and i've actually have started already as far as like me jumping out and taking a leap of faith and starting my youtube channel you know this is something that i did Say that I wanted to do for quite some time <laughs> and you know I think a lot of one of the biggest reasons as to why I had not done it much sooner was simply because you know I didn't know how I was how I was going to be received I felt like I had nothing to talk about I felt like okay I'm out here making videos but who would legit watch me you know how many people or what group of people would I be reaching? You know, who who would be interested enough in to see, to hear what I have to say or what I got going on, you know? But I feel like there is somebody out there, you know, even if we, or not we, but even if I'm able to just reach out to one person, touch the heart of one person with what the things I have going on, or not even, I'm just saying more so of like, inspiring you know I'm one of those type of people to want to feel inspired with the way I live the way I carry myself you know the way that I think and in, in, in that in that sense you know so now I have all that blended out so again, in 2022, I'm going to start taking myself more serious and I'm going to take the limits off myself, right? I'm not going to put myself in a box. I'm going to go out here and go after the things that I want to do, regardless of how I may feel, you know, even if I don't fully succeed or, you know, maybe... It may be a situation where it's like, okay, I get there and I decide, well, you know what? I tried it, but it really wasn't for me. At least I can say that I tried, right? That's very important to go out here and to try new things. So that will be the top of my list. It's taking myself serious and going after the things that I want to do to gain fulfillment for myself because I'm only living my life for myself, right? And you only have one life. So please know that that's very important. You only have one life. So I have all my foundation blended in and I did use my elf, elf, I said elf, elf brush to go ahead and put all that foundation in. So number two on my list is going to be me saving money. And I think a lot of people can definitely relate to that. 
I feel like in society today, how it's set up is for people to just continuously spend all of their life savings on a lot of unnecessary things. Granted, there are a lot of things that we need in life on our day to day, but there's a lot of things that we don't need. <laughs> don't need. Don't need at all. So what I plan on doing for 2022 is saving money. For instance, I want to take my children to Disney World. How can I take my kids to Disney World if I am constantly at McDonald's drive-thru? If I'm constantly going to Bath and Body Works because I do love to smell good and that's just body mist, but I, I love perfume, okay? I love perfume. And this foundation that I am using, not foundation, this is actually my concealer. The concealer that I'm using is Fenty. And this is in the shade 370. This is Fenty Beauty foundation, not foundation. Why do I keep saying foundation? It's not a foundation. This is my concealer. This is what's going to give me the highlighted areas. But yeah, back to me saving money. Like if I'm constantly spending, then how can I save? You know, I am a mother of three and it gets very hard. And another thing that kind of prompted me to want to save is just being that it is this holiday season, right? And, you know, I don't like to be put in a predicament or, you know, in a situation to where I have to de decide whether or not if I'm going to purchase a gift or if I'm going to pay my bill. Like, I don't like that feeling. So as well as me saving money, I am dedicating myself to finding ways to earn more income, to have multiple streams of income. Whether or not if it's me getting a second job or whatever. And another thing about me too, is that I'm currently in the, den um, the dental field slash medical field. And the demand is always going to be there, right? However, even though the demand is there, it's like because now I am a mother of three and during the pandemic, you know, I realized that I really enjoyed being home with my kids. Especially being that, you know, when they were home doing the virtual schooling, I enjoyed making sure that homework was done, they had food cooked, the house was clean. But you know, being that I'm at work now, and they are actually back inside the school building, but it's like so much on me to where it's like I'm at work for nine hours a day, okay? Then I'm having to come home, check on homework, make sure the house is clean, cook, all of this. It's just so much on me. And I feel like I can get a lot more done if I was one, probably working from home or if, you know, I wasn't working the long hours that I'm working. And being that my job requires me to be on my feet, like, I'm sorry, I had a call. Um, but being that my job requires me to be on my feet, for those number of hours, it is ridiculous. Like my feet be hurting me so bad. <laughs> like you have no idea. And with saving money, like I have gotten to the place in my mind to where it's like, I really just wanna be financially free. I want to be able to do what I want to do with my money. Like, and I feel like because like the, the bills that I have, they like now let's let's get let's just get this straight. Bills are one of those things that will just never go away. Like we are gonna always have bills, but it's like I have more bills than I have money. So it's like something has to give. Something has to give. Like I wanna be able to travel with my children. I want to be able to purchase the things that they want and not have to worry about if I have enough, if I have enough, for instance, with my paycheck, I have to take care of four people, four people. 
how? <laughs> how? Yes, budgeting could be A1, but that's a lot. That's what I'm saying. I need to find a way to have multiple streams of income so where I'm not just relying on my one paycheck to take care of four people because it's hard. It's very hard. It is very hard. So if you guys know of any ways that I could use to help bring in more revenue into my home for me and my babies, please comment below. Comment below. So, after I do my concealer, I always go in next with my eyeshadow. And I am more so one of those girls that love to look natural. I kind of do love just the no makeup look. I feel like my skin, not to toot my own horn, as you can see in previous videos um, that I had put in a clip as to where my skin was not the best, but I've gotten my skin to a place to where it's like, I absolutely love how clear my skin looks, how healthy my skin looks, how vibrant my skin looks. So it's like, I want to kind of just mimic that, but to also just bring out my features the most. For me, I'm a person who, or I'm a girl who, I would say I love my eyes and I love my lips. <laughs> I used to not love my eyes because, you know, I have a lazy eye per se, but I love the shape of my eyes and my lips like they're not the fullest but i like the shape of them so it's okay for me to stay and i love my smile too Jeez. <laughs> but yeah so let's go on with my eyeshadow today's eyeshadow i will be using my morphe palette and these are the colors here as you can see it is on the nude side more earth tones you can call me basic all you want but I like what I like so I'm gonna go in with the color spice first I'm gonna go in with spice and spice is this color here oh and FYI I am NOT a makeup guru or anything like that I just know how to put some colors together. And this brush that I'm using is by Coastal Scents and it is in the number BR-250. On to number three. It is me not caring what others have to say. And I think that's another thing that a lot of people can relate to. Now, I'm not saying if someone gives you advice that is very vital, that can definitely be very beneficial to you. What I'm saying is don't care about what others may say in regards to trying to talk you or to manipulate a situation by simply putting their insecurities on you. Trying to put, stop you or prevent you from doing whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, do in life for yourself. I feel like the fears of others and their opinions are deadly to your self-growth. And that's just simply because if we tend to constantly listen to the voice of others and 
what they think you should be doing or what they think you may not be doing. It's just their opinion. You don't have to listen to it because again, those are one of those things that can talk you out of your self growth, talk you out of moving forward. You know, you never know what may happen or transpire if you never do it. So therefore, again, back to topic number one, taking those risks for yourself, trying it out for yourself. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at least you can always say is that you gave it a fair shot and you did whatever you thought was necessary to make it happen for yourself. Do it for you. And don't let other people project their insecurities on you. Everybody is made differently. Everybody has different goals. I'm using a brown color now, you guys. Everybody have different goals, different visions, different ideas. That's one of the reasons why God made everybody different. We're all unique in our own right. So really do whatever your heart desire you don't need to see anybody else approval or what anybody else may have to say like just do it just do it like nike just do it okay and then you have to figure out what happiness look like for you, okay? Everybody don't want to be married. Everybody don't want a big house with a picket fence, white picket fence. Everybody doesn't want the same things. Everybody don't have the same dreams or aspirations that you do. You're only you, you can only be you. So therefore, live life for you. Not for others. Live life for yourself. Okay, y'all. So that's all I'm going to do. Matter of fact, no, that's not all I'm going to do to my eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of color right here. Now I'm going to be using the color polished. And this is just a gold glittery color. This one right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. This one right here, polish. Just give it a little. Mm. And you can barely see it, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of my setting spray, and I use the Morphe setting spray. Just to help pick that color up. And place it there. I'm going to try to blend this color out a little bit more so it doesn't look as bold hey, and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel y'all okay please 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 like this video now i'm gonna put on some of my liquid liner and this is by um, maybelline and this is in the color black see that like this is one of the things that I hate applying is eyeliner because I feel like I can never do the other side as precise or good as the one prior and I almost never put on under like um, the liner on my bottom lash I always just put it on the top lash mm, I'm struggling honey all right, so I have both on now. Now I'm gonna apply some of my mascara and I'm gonna be using the Voluminous 
Carbon Black by L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite mascaras to use. Sometimes I apply it so good, I don't even use any, um, I don't even put on any lashes. I just wear the mascara because I think it does such a good job with my lashes. I hate when makeup looks very cakey. Ah, sheesh, I just messed it up. I hate when it looks very cakey and looks drag queenish. I don't like that look. Number four on my list is not rushing the process of success. And whatever that may look like or whatever that may be in my life, whether or not if it's going to be me gaining more followers here on YouTube, whether or not if it's me applying for a new job, whether or not if that's me taking my relationship to the next level as far as like marriage whatever that may be for me is just me trusting the process i feel like sometimes we put a flashlight on somebody else's life and see where they may be in comparison to where you may be and that's their journey their process like we never see what it took for them to get to where they are. We always tend to see their finished, their finished product. Whereas we are the ones that are sometimes going through those hard times, through that struggle phase, through the ups, the highs and the lows, and we get discouraged. But I wanna say for myself, it's just trusting my own process, knowing that at some point, even though I may be here, now where God is taking me is so much further than what I could actually imagine it's going to be so much more in store that I will gain lessons that I would have learned if I've just stayed the course did my own race not try to rush it but look look at what I have going on and just looking forward to better and what God has in store for me fully and wholeheartedly okay and just becoming more inspired by others journeys versus being envious or you know having any spirit of type of jealousy like I'm not one of those people who are who gets jealous you know sometimes it can get discouraging because you're like god well day I've tried this or what when it's gonna be my turn or it's taking too long but no sis I want to say wait your turn because at some point it's going to be your turn it's going to be your turn because what does the word of god say the first should be last and the last should be first and everybody is going to have their turn at some point it's going to, you're going to be up next okay but when it's there what are you going to do what, are you going to be humbled are you going to do what it takes for you to stay in that place are you going to go higher or are you going to be that type of person is going to be mean-spirited. Like, what are you going to do when it's your turn? So now, lady, I'm going to go ahead and apply my contour. In my contour, I use the Black Opal True Colors. And this is in the shade Suede Mocha. to do a little bit of contour now this is one of the things that I still suffer at when it comes to my makeup is the contour so let's just give it a overall I'm trying to be gentle
Okay. That's as good as it's going to get. Like, I don't want to play around with it too much. Because I don't want to start looking like a crazy woman. Okay? Now we're going to get to the highlights. And I'm going to use this brush that I gotten from, I think I got this brush from like five and below, like two years ago. This is a really good um, brush. And this is by Cheek Pro. And it's a highlighter brush. Look how thick this brush is. And then the actual highlight that I'm gonna be using is by Milani. And this is in the color Strobe Light, number four. It looks like this. And with this, I don't apply a lot either. Like I want it to look as natural as possible. Okay. And now I'm going to put on some lip liner to do my lips. And this is by the Nick brand, and this is in the color Coco. five on my list is going to be me manifesting and it's learning to speak things into existence i think manifesting has definitely had a it's very popular but i feel like a lot of the people in the christian community have given it a bad rep they kind of i don't know have a perception as uh, as it being something that's very like demonic or whatever i don't feel that way i feel like it's just the same thing as me speaking things into existence basically me just writing things down what does the word of god say write the vision down make it plain i feel like it's the same thing as me manifesting it will still be me praying to God, telling him what my heart's desires are, and me also putting in that work for me to get those things fulfilled. It's not me trying to move outside of God. I'm still going to be walking in the will of God. But however, how can God move or operate if we're not putting in the work or doing anything for ourselves? So by me manifesting, it's just me making a decision to... Say, Jill, this is what you want to do. So this is what you have to do to get those things fulfilled. So that's where I am with it. So I'm going to be doing a lot of journaling. And I, I'm so grateful for my girls for purchasing me a planner. And I actually used the planner today to help me along with this video. So I'm going to be journaling. I'm going to be planning things. And when I mean planning, I mean like setting goals for myself. And I'm gonna be preparing. Being more prepared. I'm not saying that we can plan everything for our lives, but be in preparation. And I don't have the color that I wanted to use down here. So I'm gonna be using this lip gloss and this is in love potion or is it cat Von? I can't remember the brand of this lip gloss just like on the nude side Okay, you guys. 
So this is the finished look. Let me spray a little bit more of my Morphe setting spray to kind of help lock and seal everything in. So that is all I have for you guys. Let me go ahead and change my clothes so I can give you guys the final look. And I'll be right back. I'm going to be finishing off my look with one of my favorite perfumes. This is a Flower Bomb by Victor. This is one of my favorite scents. Like all times. So smells here. so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Again, I thank you guys so much for rocking out with me today from start to finish. I hope you guys have taken away some amazing things that I have shared with you guys that you guys could use in your daily lives to help yourself become a better version of yourself, okay? I want you guys to continue on this journey with me and in order to do that, I need you guys to stay in connection with me. And that's simply by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel and making sure that your bell's notifications are on so you can be aware of each time that I upload a video. Until next time, I love you and bye for now.